Hi everyone, welcome to In Vegas TV. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. Hello everyone, welcome to this Prepare Review on In Vegas TV. My name is Ifeo Bua, I'm to be here at this place. The Guardian, quit complaining, move on, or Shimbajo charges youth. The Nation, Minister, Government owns 774,000 jobs beneficiaries, 7.3 billion naira. The Vanguard, consultants ignored on collapsed 21st floor tour in Lagos. Consultant road developer, February 2020, over poor execution crates. Six rescued alive, four dead. Food vendor, doctor, others still trapped. About 50 of us, including owners, were in the building, says survival. Relatives, strong saying. Military takes over operation. Sonwo Olu other pro resident blame government for neglect. That is all on today's headline. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my sister. What is your name? My name is Honorable Akashule Inka. Sir. Consultants advice ignored on 21 story building that happened in Lagos yesterday. It was late that the developer got approval for 15th floor, but the building was raised to 21. What is your own view on the out of the state building regulation? The first and foremost is to first go and lock that person and jail him, that contractor. Because many lives have been lost now. Assuming that he has done the rightful things, that thing will have not even happened. Then, then there is a little bit error from the side of the government that gave them the approval. Are they monitoring it? The error from the contractor, I don't know why he's doing that. The owner of the building, he has an error too. The owner of the house, because you know what, to, what is inside your plan. When they are raising it beyond the plan, you are the one that giving the money. Two of them supposed to be locked and jailed for life. Even though they cannot, I, I will have said they should kill them. But they will not see the, the sufferness. They should jail them and continue to suffer till the day they will die. You understand me? Because so many lives, the president will be there. On both generations are there. The young people are there. Who can, so look at the chaos and damages they have caused the family, this, the town, the state, the nature, and the world entirely. Nobody the football like Sir Ronaldo and Messi are there. Nobody knows. You understand me? This is a very big error on the part of the contractor and the owner of the building. But the government also should be blamed because there should be a monitoring. You understand me? When somebody is building, go there. When you see that this is good, you go there. This will teach Lagos State government to go and set a monitoring. You will know that about five three years ago, something similar happened. Until you get you are there. You understand? And the same error is what they get. Instead of seven, ten, uh, 12, the raise to 14. So, you cannot expect something that on the foundation of 12 to carry the foundation of 15. This is an error. So, that is my own view. Is the punishment, although the government will see the issues here that the government released them, but the first and foremost is to go and if they have been giving their penalty, the something will have not continued to be occur. But they know there is no penalty for it. You understand me? There is no penalty for it. That is why you are seeing it. It will still continue until governments show the penalty and then they implement the penalty. Uh, first of all, I have to uh, make two comments. One, on the part of the government and at the same time on the part of the uh, probably the clients or the um, um, either the client or the consultant 
But first, let me let me go straight to the government. In any aspect of the economy, I understand that government always have agencies that regulate the body concerned. But as regards to this, we have uh, what is it called? Um, our Ministry of Lands and Housing. We have a SOM that regulates the materials or items being used. So, this is my point of uh, concern. Because in this, in this issue at hand, the said government, I mean, the um, government um, approved. Uh, the building up to 2015. Uh, so what is the government doing to the extent that this building was raised to 21? This is a very sad story. You are pre 15 story building. Now it goes to to the extent of 21. I believe that is the, the major problem lies on the government. Now, on the issue of the agency, the consultant I'm talking about, like SON, they're supposed to be at least at every items being used. They have to be you know, uh, supervising it. For example, now they uh, they will use uh, meta. At least they have MM, uh, maybe two mmm, five mmm, and stuff like that. What type of items are being used? Is it fake? Is it substandard? Is it genuine ones? All these things is killing us in Nigeria, especially when it comes to building. Because, like, from January to December, now we have had series of building collapse in Nigeria and in all, in all part of Nigeria. Not Lagos, it means just that Lagos is being a focused area, a nice soil area. So, to my own point of view, the government should make sure that one, this is my suggestion, this is my advice, a piece of advice anyway. One, the government should make sure that the law guiding building should be strictly adhered to by the consultant, by the construction companies, and stuff like that. To those people concerned, the SON should be less read responsibly when it comes to the issue of items being used. You understand? Then, like this case now. The, the government or the people concerned should be held responsible so that future occurrence should not be, you know, should not happen again. What I mean is this. They should, like, maybe, let's see, let's investigate. Is it the fault of the client? Because some clients are very adamant. They might say, we want this, 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 maybe, as in now, they say 15. You know, some clients, they are very, you know, uh, inflation energy, and they can, you know, use the accounting way to raise it to, uh, level the rest to. So the government should make sure that they should investigate this thing. Is it the fault of the clients? Is it the fault of the, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, consultant? Is it the fault of the construction company? So anybody that is found guilty should be paid, they should make them uh, liable. Because according to the story I heard now, many lives were being lost and property. You understand? So this thing has to be fired, they have to be fought to conclusion. So that's my own personal uh, opinion. Um, what I can say about that um, matter is this. More when, they, when, they, when there is agreement between the contractor and the owner of that building, it was meant that they wanted to go for 15-story building. That is the initial agreement. But now they now go extra beyond the agreement according to what i read about the matter was that the contractors they they resign in for going for that for that uh, contract so definitely the the plan of that house is majorly meant for 15 story buildings so anything that is gone above that can lead to the destruction of that building which the contractor they themselves knew about so this now gave them um you know when the advice now came in that they should go above 15 you know it's going to result of uh, to something else so that was i think what that was what happened to uh, that yesterday around two o'clock 
So that was what led to the destruction of that building. So um, further, I will say that you know when the initial agreement between the contractor and the owner, when it's 15, I know for the owner to have uh, uh, later re-agree again of going for that of 21, somebody might have brought that idea to him. So taking an advice outside the will of those people that have the uh, original plan of that house, uh, that was, I think that was what led to that destruction. I can't blame the contractor because what they know they can do, they gave it to them, but the owner said, this is what I want. Again. You are trying to say that the owner wants 21 instead of 15. Instead of 15. So when the, at least, at least, I think we can see that vividly. That I mean, obviously, we can see that, that the contractor they said they are not interested in going for that again, in which they tender their resignation. So another, so another contractor that took over, them, that, they, those ones are to be blamed. They are to be blamed. They are the cause of everything that happens because the the law that is being put on that very uh, 15 uh, uh, is, is much more than what that building can hold. You know anything, the foundation matters in everything we do. So when the, when the foundation has been built only just to take something is, that is more, nothing more than 15, now they now go extra mile in doing 21, you know? <laughs> That's extra six, um, extra six uh, uh, story building. So you know that one is is also is heavier. So I can easily blame the new contractor that took it over from those people. And mind you, those people, the first, the very first uh, set of people are white. Are white. So they know they they understand what it what it means. That was why they said they can't continue. They know what will happen. So for those ones that are take over, uh, let me just call them a quack. Serve as uh, an example to all the contractors. Whatever it is you want to do, don't just because of what you want to get from the owner of a particular building or owner of a particular organization. What you want to get, don't just because of that. Telling them what will not possible in order for you to gain more more profits so it is very very now look at lives are gone there i was when i read it i i read, I, I i saw i saw some they said more than 50 people are inside the building so look at that so i can easily tell those contractors out there that whatever it is they want to do they should try and be faithful uh, well, we have said it once that we cannot blame the government and we cannot totally blame the contractors involved. At the same time, one can blame contractors because of the materials used. Because one thing is for the government to quote, I mean to approve substantial amount for such building and the contractor can go behind and do something else so the the quality of material used and the uh, what we call it the structure itself from the foundation because at times the foundation may be faulty just like it happened in so many places where building collapsed and killed so many people. This will continue to happen if, the, if there is no proper monitoring. It's a pity nowadays. Uh, governments don't monitor the site engineers or whatever we call them. They don't do their job. Many of them will take what we call kickbacks when they take kickbacks, they are not duty bound anymore to monitor anything. Because the money is already, it's like goodbye basket, I got my apple. 
So whatever happens, no man's business. You understand? So that's why we have this kind of mishap. And it's a pity. Nigeria will continue like that until when the righteous people begin to spring up. Well, I will only advise uh, the builders to please have a change of heart. And the people who are awarding the contracts to change their habits. Because when, the, when things continue like this, I mean, when they are doing all this, when they are uh, awarding uh, contract, I mean, contracts and um, the contractors are also receiving, uh, they only look at the money value. They only look at their own gain. They don't consider lives of people. That is why I say uh, uh, people, uh, I mean, they need to change, have a change of heart. They know it's a deliberate uh, act, as I can see. It's a deliberate act. So they should change. This is where we call it a wrap for today's edition of Newspaper Review on In Vegas TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Niger Vegas TV. Till next time, remain blessed.